Hey, welcome back to another week here on the Mentality of Success. And listen, if you've been struggling, if your hope meter has ran a little bit low as of late, then this is the episode that's going to re-energize and pump you back up to get back out there. Because today we're going to talk about this topic of hope and how your life is bigger than this, meaning that there's more to your life than what you're currently living. And I'm going to tell you why and how you can dive into greater hope for your life. What's going on, my people? Welcome back to another week here on The Mentality of Success. Those of you watching on YouTube, you might wonder, why is Joshua extra spiffy today? (laughs) Well, I'm a little bit more dressed than usual because I had a, um, I had a, a, Orange County, I'm in Orange County. We had an Orange County prayer breakfast this morning. And so that meant your boy had to spiffy it up a little bit. I'm going to turn these lights down some because I feel like I'm I'm blinging like an angel on this on this uh, screen here. But yeah, so I had an Orange County breakfast this morning and um, I had to put on a suit, you know, get all spiffied up to go spend some time with some great business leaders across the city. Um, but Today, that's not why we're here. I just wanted to, I felt a little self-conscious being so dressed, so I want to tell you why. Uh, But the real reason we're here is because today we're going to talk about this topic of hope. And and I think this is a very prevalent topic to our times because one of my core beliefs is that right now we're living in a time where the greatest challenge we see, the greatest challenge we see across our cities, across our nations, is that there is a seemingly, I would say there definitely is, but just for the sake of being fair, there's seemingly this lack of of value, not only for other people, because we definitely see that with all the the controversy and, and conflict, but there's also a lack of value for self, people not valuing themselves, people not seeing themselves the way that they were created to be seen. And so that got me thinking today, I was sitting in this, this luncheon and someone said something around the lines of how big this thing really is and how our lives are often bigger than what we even can often fathom in the moment. And so that got me thinking on the topic of hope. So I looked up the word hope on Google. I want to read to you what it says the, the word hope means. Here's the definition. Hope, according to, to the wonderful... Um, scholar called Google is a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen. Hope is a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen. Now that's Google's definition. I'm going to give you Joshua's definition. And this is what we're going to springboard off of for today's conversation. I define hope like this. That's what Google says hope is. Joshua Washington says hope is a desire to know that my life means something, provides something, and leaves my heart in a state of expectation. I, I, that's how I define hope. I define hope as a desire to know that my life means something, that it will provide something, and it's the it's what leaves my heart in continuous, in a continuous state of expectation. That's my definition. So here's the question for you. Does this describe your life? Does this describe the current state of your life? Would you say that your life currently, could you say these things about your life currently? Could you say that I have a desire that my life means something? I know my life means something. I know that my life is meant to provide something. And I am, am continuously practicing a posture of expectation. I want you to really think about that for a second. I think this is a really important episode. Because... I like to talk about all kinds of things, whether it's mindset, you know, some relationship stuff. One of my heart passions is turning your, you know, skills, experiences and strengths into secondary income. And, and that's stuff we're working on here, actually, in the future. But none of that, you can do none of that. None of that happens if your life does not have an 
adequate level of hope. Now, we're not going to always live at the highest level of hope. That we're just human. We're going to have some dips. But if your life is not consistently maintaining a healthy amount of hope, then none of the other aspects or elements of success even matter. None of it matters. And so that's why this topic is so important. So let's break this down. Let's break this down because I want to go kind of section by section. The first section is, is, is a desire, right? Hope is a desire to know that my life means something. My life means something. So here's a question. Here's another question. How different would you live your life if you knew your life added tremendous value to someone else's? How different would you live your life if you knew every time you got up that someone else was was saying, OK, that meaningful that meaningful life just arose and now we get to benefit from it. Hey, Joshua got out of bed today. That means we are all in for a treat. You got out of out of the bed today. That means we are all in for a tremendous treat. How different would you live your life if you knew someone was saying that every time you got out of the bed? What would change about your life? What would change about your 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 facial expressions? Your energy, your attitude, your sense of, of responsibility. How would your life change if you knew it meant something to someone? And if you already know this, then, then this question may not have apply. But for many of us, when our hope is at the lowest, it's because we don't believe that it would make any difference, any significance on the meter if we were here or not. And I'm here to tell you that it is a lie. If you've ever believed that your life does not mean something to someone, then I'm here to correct that lie. Because if, if, if it means nothing to anyone else, it means something to me. And you may say, well, Josh, that's kind of, you know, that's kind of motivational speak. It's really not like like I'm not getting paid to do this podcast every week. I do this podcast because I believe there are people out there like you. Who are worth it who mean something. When I sit down to write content, I'm thinking about people like you. Because I'm glad you got out of bed today. I'm glad that you got it to this day with an opportunity to provide something meaningful to this world. And so to me, you are in my thoughts. So if you've never pictured this kind of scenario that I just painted here, of someone believing and someone saying every day, man, I'm so glad that that person got up. I'm so glad you got up today because your life means something. If you've never experienced that, or if you're, if you're kind of teetering at this space in life where you feel like it doesn't make a difference whether you're here or not, I'm here to, I want to correct you in saying that yes, it does matter because you being here adds to the reason why people like me do what we do. And I'm sure there's other people in your circle who would say you're meaningful for other reasons. So that's one check, right? We said hope is a desire to know that my life means something. You need to know that your life means something. The second part of that is that my life, hope, hope is a desire to know that my life means something and that my life provides something. You probably guessed it. I got another question for you. What would change about your rate of growth if you could see the dollar amount of return on every skill, strength, and experience you've ever had? Ah, this is about to get good. What if you could see? What if you could? What if? What, if, what would change about your, your rate of growth if you could see the dollar amount of, of return? That means like. Uh, an actual cash return of every skill, strength, and experience you've ever had. How would your growth rate train to uh, change? What I mean by growth rate, I mean how quickly would you grow and mature certain areas of your life? And experience is on there for a reason because experience is very important. That speaks to some of the things you've experienced, both positive and negative. 
Like, what if that trauma that you went through in your life that you could actually see the dollar amount of return that it could have? What if that trauma in your life had a billion dollar cash uh, uh, assessment, value assessment of return? Meaning that if you matured through that, that trauma, if you you went through whatever that thing was and you made it to the other side and then use that to provide something into the world. What if that provided a billion dollars worth of value? And I mean that in a practical sense, there's people that have taken their trauma and put it into a book, put it into a course, put it into a coaching program, put it into a movie. And it's had a, a real cash value return. So I'm asking you again, how would you, how, what would change about your rate of growth if you could see the dollar amount that putting that time into developing that skill would produce? Putting the time into developing that strength. Putting the time into actually going through that experience that I know is hard. I know the circumstances are tough. I know it doesn't look like, feel like, smell like what you want it to be. But what if you could see on the other side the dollar amount that is waiting for you if you get through it. <laughs> I imagine your, your outlook would change, your mentality would change. You say, yo, this trauma, this, this thing I'm going through, this low season where I can't find a job, nobody will hire me, or I just got laid off, or things aren't going right in my family. But I can see once, once I grow in this, once I mature in this and through this, that every aspect of my life is going to grow. I can see it. If you could see it, it would totally change your perspective. And sometimes the hardest thing to do when you're in it is to see it. And that's why I'm here. I wanna be your eyes. There's certain things I went through when I was, I've told you all over and over again about how broke I was. But it was always this, this like thought in my mind like, if I can just grow this area, I can see. Because I would go and sit in environments with people that were doing things I wanted to do. And I could see they weren't too far off from where, where I was. It wasn't that, you know, it wasn't unreachable. And so that gave me hope. It gave me hope in my growth, in my journey of growth. It gave me hope that the same dog days, the same tough, and, and frustrating days wouldn't stay that way. And I wanna, I wanna transfer that vision into your life today. I want you to know that there, there is even greater than a dollar amount of value on your experiences, on your strengths, on your skills. There's an eternal value on it. That if you would just get through it, if you would just put in the work, somebody is going to benefit from what you provide through that. Because your life was meant to provide something. No man, no woman is here without talents, without skills, without strengths, without experiences that will benefit other people. And I believe if you could see, if you could see that clearly, if you could see that your life was meant to provide something, then hope in your life would only take an uptick. And that leads to the last one here. I can stay on that, that one all day, but I'm gonna, let's go back to this definition. Joshua's definition of hope, a desire to know that my life means something. We already went over that one, provides something. We just talked about that one. And the last one here is, and it leaves my heart in a state of expectation. Why is this important? Why is this important that our hearts stay in, in a continuous posture of expectation? Well, what's the opposite of expectation? Anxiety. Expectation is expecting positive things, a great anticipation for, for something desirable in your future. Anxiety is, is, a, is, a, is you sitting there and anticipating that a negative outcome is in your future. They are opposites. And there's so many people who, instead of living their lives in a continuous posture of expectation, are living their lives in a continuous posture of anxiety. And it all ties back to hope. 
Because when you don't believe your life means something, when you don't believe your life is meant to provide something, then you don't have high expectations for your life. And either you're going to have high expectations for your life or you're going to have anxious expectations for your life. My hope, what I would challenge you with, is to make sure that you cultivate an environment within your life that leaves you in a posture of expectation. So here's the last question. Because you know I got to have a question for this one. I have one for all the other ones. Got to have one for this one, right? Here's the question. How much more joy and gratitude would you arise with on the day-to-day if your life took on a posture of expectation? How much more joy and gratitude would you get up with every day if your life took on a posture of expectation? Meaning, what would change about your life if you got up every day knowing Oh, today's going to be a great day. Today, today, something good is coming my way or something good is going someone else's way because I'm going places today. How much joy would your life be infused with if you had a greater sense of expectation? If you had a greater sense of gratitude? How would that shift your expectations? How would that domino, what would that domino effect look like in your life? My guess is that you would be living at higher levels of hope if your life embarked on higher levels of expectation. Because hope is tied to expectation. Meaning is tied to expectation. Value is tied to expectation. And I want to take a moment today to do this video because I really want to see why she said this way. I want to do this video because I know there's something great within you. There's something great ahead of you. And I want you to be expecting about that. I want you to wake up expecting that your life means something to someone. Expecting that your life is meant to provide something of value. Looking for what for reasons to have joy, looking for, for things to be grateful for. Because none of the greatness that your life was meant for can be accomplished if you don't maintain or learn to practice cultivating hope. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't keep it 100 percent real with y'all today, because, you know, I believe life begins at the intersection of hope. And for me in my life, hope is a person. And that's Jesus Christ. That's for me, though. I want it for you with all the questions we talked about today. Rewind back if you need to go through those again. But for you, what does hope look like in your life today? And how can you apply these things that we went over during this short time to to infuse your life with greater levels of hope? so that your life can reach the potential it was meant to reach. All right, that's all for today. I hope you found this to be something that was uplifting, that was something that kind of gives you life and gives your your life a sense of meaning and purpose. Um, Don't forget to hit that notification button. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this with people. We need to spread messages of hope. And I, I, my prayers that you would do that by sharing this. All right. I'm out of here for today. I got to get out of this dress shirt and get into something more comfortable, but I love you all. And I'll see you on the next one. But until then, remember success is your destiny to the next time.